name is Isola. I'm a fashion designer and you are welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Daisy's Wardrobe. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're an existing subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've seen my video before and haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and put on the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. It'll be nice to have you here. I'm an African inspired right by fashion designer based here in Lagos, Nigeria, and I've been in business for 10 years. So here on my channel, I talk about fashion business, being a fashion designer, fashion in general, and sometimes I talk about my life. And so today I'll be talking about what is the difference between tailor and a fashion designer. So I decided to do this video because a lot of times people come to meet me or they approach me and they say, um, Madam Daisy, people call me that even though they hate it, but yeah. Madam Daisy, um, do you need someone to work for you? I have this person, they're a fashion designer. And I'm like, okay, no problem, fine. What are they bringing to the table? They say, oh, they can sew very well, they can cut very well, they've been doing it for X, Y, and Z years. I'm like, Okay, no problem. And a lot of times you just see some people, because they know how to sew very, very, very well, when you ask them, what do you do? I'm a fashion designer. I'm like, okay. From my experience, some people are very good. They are very talented when it comes to sewing. Really, really good. But you give them a project and you tell them design something fantastic for me design something spectacular for me they can't they cannot or you know even if they've worked with you for a long time and you expect that this person should be on a particular level because they've had so much interaction with you being a fashion designer and this person should have so much knowledge and you tell them design something for me or design something for this person they can't on the flip side of it you see a fashion designer who has no knowledge of sewing doesn't know how to sew at all at all at all at all or tell them to design something and when they design for you you are blown away and if you ask them to communicate their design to a tailor to make it for them they will do that perfectly well and when i say perfectly well i mean perfectly well this goes to show that there's a difference between a tailor and a fashion designer and in this video i will tell you what that difference is it's as if people are not proud to say i am a tailor Everybody wants to be a fashion because the name fashion designer sounds very fancy. There's nothing wrong in being a tailor. I call myself a tailor because I sew. I draft pattern. There's nothing wrong in being a tailor. But it's like these days, in this side of the world, people don't want to be called tailors anymore. They want to be called fashion designers. Everybody wants to be a fashion designer. And probably because some people or some tailors have given the profession of a tailor and giving it a bad reputation probably that's why some people don't even like to be considered to be a tailor i don't know but anyway i will still share my differences so first things first a tailor works with measurements if somebody comes and says i want this made for me the tailor has to take your measurements has to take your dimensions in whatever proportion your body may be anything the tailor works with those measurements that they have taken then interpreting patterns a tailor is able to interpret patterns in fact a tailor should interpret patterns because if another person sees for example a sleeve pattern the person will not necessarily know that that's a sleeve pattern but if you show a tailor the tailor will tell you that this is a sleeve this is where it goes this is how it's supposed to be you start from this place you start from that place if you understand what i'm saying so a tailor should be able to interpret patterns 
a tailor works with patterns. Are you enjoying my video? Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. Thank you. A tailor doesn't have to be creative. To be a good tailor, you don't have to be creative. And when I mean creative, you know, if somebody is not creative, it's, there's no crime in it. It's not the end of the world. Some people, that's not the gift that God has given them. You need to understand the gift that God has given you and work it to your advantage as much as you can. Creativity is not for everybody. It's not in everybody's field. And a tailor should know how to sew. Fundamental thing. That is the job description of a tailor. A tailor should be able to know how to sew. Now on the flip side, a fashion designer may not necessarily know how to sew, but there are certain things that a fashion designer should know. A fashion designer should know about trends, should know what is going on in the fashion world in terms of trends. And even if it's not trend in general for everybody, for the kind of clothing that you make, you need to be able to know the trend in that kind of clothing that you make. So if, for example, a fashion designer and you design boobies, you should be able to know the, the trend in boobies. If the trend for boobies these days is to have only one hand and then the other hand is there, if that is the trend, you should know it. Are you enjoying my video? Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. Thank you. A fashion designer should be able to work with colors. You need to work with colors, be able to combine colors, know what colors would match what kind of garments, know what colors will bring out a particular kind of thing. A fashion designer should be able to know that. A fashion designer should be able to know what kind of fabric will best complement a particular design because not all fabric will go well with every single design. No. For example, I work with African prints, which we call Ankara. Ankara is not for every single style. Ankara will not make every single style for you. Absolutely not. So you need to know the kind of fabric that will go along with a kind of style. And if you don't even know it from the get-go, as you progress in your career as a fashion designer, these are the things that you learn. You start to learn that for clothes like boo-boos, there are certain kind of fabric that you use. For clothes like kaftans, there's a certain kind of fabric that you use. For clothes like trousers, depending on the kind of trousers that you're making, there's a certain kind of fabric that you use. Because not all fabric is going to give you the same end result for a particular garment. A fashion designer should be able to communicate design and pattern. You should be able to communicate your designs. It's very important. So for example, if you're very good at sketching, and you have sketched something out, a very, very beautiful design. You should be able to communicate that design to a tailor. If you want the bust to be cut in a bust cut or a princess cut, you need to be able to know what you have drawn and then communicate it to your tailor. That is, if you're not the one sewing it yourself. Because there are fashion designers who know how to do all these things I've said and also know how to sew. While there are some who can do all these things I've said and don't even know how to sew it. But the most important thing is that you should need to be able to communicate your design. So these are just simple basic differences between a tailor and a fashion designer. There may be other things, but these are just the simple ones that I can share at the moment. If I know any more, I'll say it somewhere or put it somewhere or something. But yeah, these are the basics. So my video for today is done. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And please put on the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.